Mike.com. I host, create, set up, customize WordPress blogs and websites. And today I'm going to share a little WordPress with you. So let's get started. Now that we have our files uploaded to our server, the next thing we need to do is install the WordPress platform on our particular domain name. Before we can do that, we'll have to create a database on our server for WordPress to use. And so we're going to do that by we're going to go to our domain name. And we're going to log in. You can see here we got a, an error message that says we need to con create a configuration file. We can't do that until we have a, uh, a database created on the server. And we do that in our control panel. And you'll have to talk to your host uh, if you don't know how to get into your control panel or you don't know how to create a database uh, on your server. And you can talk to your host provider and uh, they can give you those instructions if you're not familiar with it. Or you can contact me uh, on my website webbymike.com. Okay, I'm logging into my control panel now. And I'm going to look for my SQL databases. So I'm going to scroll down to I see a header called databases. And I'm going to click on my SQL databases. And there are no databases associated with this account because this was a brand new domain. And we've got to create a new database. And I'm just going to call our database blog. Short name, four, five, six letters is usually best. So I'm going to create that database. And the database has been created now. So the next thing I have to do is I have to create a user for the database. Now this is not as complex as it sounds. It's just two or three steps here. So the next thing we'll do is we'll put a username in. I always use my username. I just use the username admin. And I create my user. So now my user has been created. And we go back and I've got to add the user to a database. So I'm adding uh, the admin user to the database blog. I add that and I have to give it privileges to the user and I'm going to give all privileges to the user. And so now I have an admin user and uh, we have a database and we can use those when we create our config file. So I'm going to go ahead and log out of my control panel. Now, <clears throat> I need to create my config file and WordPress has given us a sample. And that sample will be in our files that we have on our PC. And I'm going to right click, I'm going to select it and right click, and I'm going to edit the wp-config-sample PHP file. So I have to put <clears throat> the name of my database where it says put your DB name here. So my database name is Austin FL underscore blog. I have to put the username where it says username here. So my username is Austin FL underscore admin. And then I have to put the password where it says put your password here. And so I type the password that I used. And now I have I have customized my WordPress wp-config-samplephp file so that I can use it on the server. So I'm going to save it, but instead of saving it back as the sample, I'm going to save as, and I am going to put it right back into the same 
directory under WordPress. And I'm going to save it with no extension. It's just going to be wp-config.php. I'm going to get rid of that sample. So now I've got wp-config.php and I'm going to save it to my WordPress directory on my computer. Okay, now that I've done that, I can go back and I can to my FileZilla and I can refresh the screen by right clicking and clicking refresh and I will see if I go down to wp-config that this file has been newly created. So now I can upload my wp Dash config file to the server and I just do that by double clicking on it and now if I look over at the server I have a WP config file I also have a WP config dot sample file I don't need that I'm going to delete it so now I'm going to go back to austinblicks.com and uh, just Go to the website, awesomeblicks.com, and WordPress is going to take over here and help me configure my uh, WordPress platform installation. And the first thing it's going to ask me for is a blog title. Now, I haven't given this much thought because this website was basically created as a sample for my tutorials, but we'll just call it Austin Videos. And we'll put my email in here, which is mike at webbymike.com. And it gives me the option of allowing my blog to appear in search engines like Google. Of course, we want it to appear in Google so people can find it. So I'll leave that checked and I will install WordPress. WordPress has been installed username I have is admin and it gives me this crazy password and we're going to copy this because it's the only way we can get into our admin panel is by using this username admin and our password which they provided us and so our next step will be entering our admin panel for the first time and we'll do an overview of the of the admin panel for WordPress